the Seattle Seahawks are going into the 2022 NFL season with their top two quarterbacks on their depth chart being Geno Smith and Drew Locke. Not necessarily keys to success there. Pete Carroll, head coach of the Seattle Seahawks, was asked about whether or not they would bring in a quarterback. He was not asked specifically about Baker Mayfield, who has been rumored to be eventually land over there. But uh, Pete Carroll says he does not at all envision the team trading for a quarterback. He went on to say, we're always competing. I'm not saying anything to you that I didn't think I was going to. I was going to say, but fortunately, that's always been the way we've operated, and it fits again, so we're looking. So, look, they are completely fine, it looks like, without having another quarterback on the roster to compete with those two, realistically to compete with those two. I'm going to make the case here that they should make a trade. I'm going to make the case here that they should bring in another guy. I'm going to make the case here that they should bring in a guy who has proven that he is bare minimum, one of one of the best game managers, bare minimum there is in the in the game today. A guy who, if you develop him and you put him in the right situation, and look, Seattle's coming off a draft where they had. Multiple first-round picks. They're coming into a, a situation in 2023 where they could potentially have more first-round picks. They're building out that team. They have a massive target in DK Metcalf. They have another massive target now after trading away Russell Wilson in Noah Fant, who I think is going to play an instrumental role in that offense. So you have all these pieces. It's time for them to pick up the phone Bare minimum, Seattle, bring in another arm. It's not going to cost you much. Pick up the phone, call Philadelphia, bring in Gardner Flint Minshew II. The reason why you bring him in, pull up the graphic, baby. There we go. That's why you bring in Gardner Minshew. Minshew Mania, been running wild in the NFL for the past three years. 41 touchdowns, 12 interceptions nearly 6,000 yards, all of that in only 22 NFL starts. The swagger over 9,000. Look at that damn belt buckle. This man is impeccable, all right? Gardner Minshew has been in the league for three years now. First year, 21 touchdowns, six interceptions, went 6-6 six and six as a starter, came out of nowhere, should have won Rookie of the Year over Kyler Murray. That's not a hot take. It is just the truth. He had a better rookie season, more successful rookie season than Kyler Murray did. He comes in the next year. The Jaguars are very openly tanking. They're very openly trying to lose games. They benched him because they were trying to lose games. You don't, you don't start Mike Glennon and Jake Luton if you're trying to trying to win games. Or at least stay competitive. He gets traded for a for a sixth round pick, a sixth round pick to the Eagles. Starts a game in Philadelphia last year where he went off, three hundred yards, three touchdowns. He went off because that's what Gardner Minshew does. And if you put him in that situation in Seattle, where they just drafted a really good offensive lineman, where they have those two targets I talked about in DK Metcalf and Noah Fant. Someone in the middle of the field and someone on the outside. Big bodies who Gardner Minshew can throw to. And you've got a guy who is a leader, which is exactly what you need. Like Gardner Minshew is a leader, respected in the locker room, respected by his peers, respected as a, a football quarterback type leader. He can fill a little bit. He's not going to fill, obviously, the entire void of leadership that Russell Wilson left. But he did leave a void of leadership. Gardner Minshew can come in there and help fill that void and make strides and, and, and sustain a good part of that culture. So you get Minshew in there. What's it going to cost you? A third, uh, 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 Sorry, a fifth round pick? If it's a fourth round pick, I think you take a chance on him. Look. The worst case scenario here for Seattle. Worst case, Minshew does not work out. 
you're going to take a quarterback anyway. You're going to have the ammo to trade up if you want to. And next year's a whole hell of a lot better uh, of a year to take a quarterback than this year was. We know that. So do the smart thing. Do the best thing for your team. And look, you can win with Gardner Minshew. If Gardner Minshew gets traded to this team, it is going to be the, the best team that Minshew has played on. Look at what he did with the Jags his rookie year. Look at what he did with receivers in, in that game last year. He started for the Eagles where receivers basically didn't exist outside of Devontae Smith. He is just that damn good. 41 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. And we are still talking about people like, like Baker Mayfield. Who are gonna probably going to cost you a third round pick. We're still talking about Sam Darnold being a starter in, in Carolina. We're still talking about, um, uh, you know, we're still talking about all these things, all these different things. Kenny Pickett in Pittsburgh? Kenny Pickett? Give me a break. It's time to for be it's time for the NFL to put some respect on Gardner Minshew's name. It, it's just time. He's been too damn good for too damn long. It's time he finally gets an opportunity to really genuinely prove himself. If he does well, he is who I thought he was, and if he fails, he fails. That's the game, but we are we deserve to find out. The NFL deserves to find out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Is it time for the Seahawks to pull trigger on this trade? Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.